Hi, everyone. I'm here today to talk to you about transformation and change in a biological perspective. Now, I'm certain everyone in this room has gone through some form of change or transformation in their lifetime, and at some point, you felt fear. I know this because, like you, I am human, and one of the scariest moments in my life was my transition from high school to college and this moment right here. <laughs> now, but I want us to reevaluate how we see change. It is scary. There's no getting around that. But it is also necessary and inevitable. It is life demands change. It has only been our ability to adapt that has allowed us to survive and evolve throughout the millennia, years, and day to day. We as individuals and society making up, made up by individuals, rely on change. It is our only constant. Now, I believe society can best be compared to a large-scale microbiome in the fact that it is several different organisms living and working together, sharing traits and genes to better survive their environment. Just as, like in society, it is a bunch of humans sharing abilities and ideas to further the community and live and survive. Thanks to a Harvard Law experiment, we can actually see how individuals can impact their community through variation and change. Now, as you, what you're seeing here is a very large plate in which a high concentration of antibacterial drug is plated in the center, and the concentration decreases as it goes to either side until you reach a zero zone where there is no bacteri antibacterial drug. A bacteria community is plated on either side, and as you can see, most of them are forced to stay in this safe zone. They don't have the necessary genes or traits to go out and venture out and live. However, a few individuals have developed a mutation or genetic recombination that has allowed them to not only leave, but survive and thrive in admittedly lower concentrations of the drug. However, given enough time, they pass on these genes and traits to the current and future generations until we see that the community as a whole is actually coming forward and braving new and higher concentrations, overcoming worse and worse adversary and just becoming more as a community, all thanks to a few individuals. Just how new ideas or the willingness to share ideas can transform a whole community, like at this TED Talk. Now, individuals themselves also rely on change. We as humans have something known as the adaptive immune system. This is kind of why we have to get a, a flu vaccine every year. It allows us to recognize and mark for death any pathogen or disease-causing agent. As you can see here, this is my kind of example of a virus. He's, a, he's mean, he's got the bad face on, but what's kind of happening is he's being surrounded and marked for death by something known as antibodies. Those are what's surrounding him, those little green things. They are what comprises of the adaptive immune system, and they are what interests us. They bind to something known as an antigen, which is kind of like a pathogen or disease's fingerprint. It is unique to each pathogen and identifies them as what they are. And to be able to recognize such a wide variety of pathogens, our antibodies have to be very unique and have a wide variety of themselves. Let's take a look. So, uh, antibody is made out of two regions, a constant region and a variant region. I want us to focus on the variant region because that's what's interest to us right now. The names are very self-explanatory. In the variant region, that's what actually binds to the fingerprint of the disease. It has gone through so many different hypermutations, genetic recombinations, changes to make itself different from different ones of its kind. And billions and billions of them exist in our body at any given day. Actually, 30 billion are made a day. Not all of them survive, but that's a pretty good number. And what we see is that only three to five of these antibodies produced can recognize a single antigen. And that just shows how unique, how much we have come to rely on their variation in order to survive day to day. So what I want to challenge y'all, my challenge is not to drive headforce into change, because not all change is good, and it is still scary. What I want you to do is evaluate yourself. See what change you've been denying or you're going through, what transition is happening, whether it's good or bad, and see how you can take parts of it or all of it onto yourself to make yourself more than you are now or make your community better in some way. 
You've heard excellent examples of that throughout the entire day where people suffered hardships and made something more of themselves, or they are reaching out now using what they learned to help other people that are going through that. That is my challenge, and thank y'all.